So that is about the encounter drama. So, <coughs> as somebody requested, as somebody requested for unique MRL bonuses, unique MRL bonus is also some people consider it is not a direct disease. It is also a developmental uh, bony dysplasia. Here most common, uh, most common area affected by the unique MRL bone cyst is proximal humerus. Proximal humerus. Most of the time the bone is being replaced by a cavity and a fluid. Hemorrhage is a, a type of serous fluid will be. However, it may not require any treatment. May not require any treatment. Many times that the tumor or the bone cyst, unicameral bone cyst, because it is having only one cavity, the bone cyst will present as a pathological fracture. It may not be seen, but the patient will present as a pathological fracture. And that pathological fracture will heal very well, will heal very well. No need just immobilization is absent. You need not have problem. If it is a unicameral cyst, it is a benign tumor, it contains only one cavity and sometimes some advocate, some other people advocate aspiration of the fluid and sometimes aspiration of the fluid and in, in, in inducing what is called a, 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 some kind of irritant fluid to start the growth. But they are abandoned now. There is no need of curates, etc., which being done for other, other cases of encondom, etc. But unicameral cyst usually is a well healing disease, may not cause much problem. Very rarely it requires curatives because it will heal on its own account even though it fractures. So we will, because no, most of the time it, it, it may be uh, academical interest, but sometimes it is not being asked, just, just go through it. Fibrous dysplasia, another lytic condition is fibrous dysplasia. Before I go to see the fibrous dysplasia, I want to tell something this one. So, there are some entities which the metabolic, metabolic diseases, just now take for example of osteoporosis, osteoporosis, fibrous dysplasia, osteomalacia, osteosclerosis, Paget's disease. The mechanism appears to be the same. The mechanism appears to be the same. If you go to the bone pathology, the mechanism appears to be the same. So, for that, we will go to the bone. The bone is a dynamic one. It is not static. The bone is a dynamic one. Every time, bone is being reserved, bone is being formed. A dynamic process, which in the young stages, bone formation will be more than compared to the bone resorption. So, it is like a liver like that. Now, suppose now take the example of what is called these chairs. If you throw the entire one by one you throw the one chair and receive another chair and then arrange it nicely. Suppose these chairs are arranged three, 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 three like this and throw away some chairs, these chairs and then receive again some other chairs and arrange in the same process. That is what is bone is happening. Bone is reserved and throwing its structure into the blood and then the structure is reformed but reorganized again. And suppose if you, if you give a cover to the bone, suppose I think it is a cover to the bone. Cover means uh, what is called to prevent from dust you will give a cover to the bone. So, there are nine ch some chairs here, every chair is being given some cover, some amount of protected cover, plastic cover like that or uh, what is cotton cover like that, so or to protect you that from the dust etc. So, these chairs are there. Now, imagine that some of the chairs have been thrown out and some chairs have received back and their cover has been given and then arranged nicely. Now, that some, if you throw five chairs, and receive the five chairs again and five covers again nicely, it is okay. That is normal metabolism. If you throw away five chairs but receive seven chairs and all the seven chairs you are covered, that is osteosclerosis. That is osteosclerosis. 
So the resorption is there, more amount of absorption has come. So the bone will become denser and denser, that is osteosclerosis. If you throw away seven chairs, but receive only three chairs, but coverage is okay, they cover their covers have been given nicely, that is osteoporosis. Throw away seven chairs, receive the seven chairs, but don't give the cover. That is non-mineralized, that is osteomalacia. That is osteomalacia. Throw away the chair, receive the same amount, the amount is the same, but it is not been strengthened, covered. Throw away the chairs, the plastic, neat plastic chair, and receive some dirty wooden chairs, dirty wooden chair which is not made up of the original chair material, dirty wooden chairs, wooden, which are very feasible and which may break even, not wooden means only frame chairs like that, which has weaker chairs not stronger, weaker chairs, not from the plastic material, weaker material, you receive chairs, seven chairs you go away, seven chairs it is, that is fibrous dysplasia. So the bone is absorbed, and but the new bone formed, not at all, new bone has not formed, the formed bone is fibrous tissue. If you throw the chairs away, seven, and the nine chairs in turn we have received, all being covered, more and more, but two chairs have been arranged there, two are here, two are here, two are on my head, not arranged properly. So, that is Piaget's disease, that is Piaget's disease. So, there is absorption, there is a new bone form, there is again there is bone formation, there is more amount of sclerosis also, however it is not organized. See, all these are the same mechanism, all these are same mechanism. Bone resorbed, resorption, counterbalanced by the formation, normal, bone resorbed, more resorption, less formation, osteoporosis, bone resorbed, formed again the same amount but not mineralized, osteomalacia, bone absorbed but replaced by fibrous tissue, fibrous dysplasia, bone resorbed, formed new bone form, more or more bone also form, more strong mineralized also then but not organized properly, the Haver system that is Paget's disease. Like this, almost all the same things are, all, all the entities are almost the same. But the different things will ha happen according to the situation. Now take one of this disease in which the normal bone is replaced by fibrous tissue. So the chairs have been taken, dirty chairs and useless chairs have been received. This uh, in which normal bone is replaced by fibrous tissue, the fibrous tissue grows inside the bone at the cost of the original bone. And after some time, we will be seeing all dirty debris, not the original bone. So, the mass of fibrous tissue that formed grows inside the bone and erodes the cortices of the bone from within. We are from within. So, the cortex are being eroded because it is being replaced. A thin layer, finally, a thin layer of periosteal bone forms around the mass and hence the bone appears expanded. Because of the dynamicity, bone, because of the thinness, it will try to expand it. And that is there. So most of the time it will grow as a vertical direction, whereas in osteoclastoma, the expansion is a transverse, mostly transverse. It is also somewhat transverse, but the destruction, but the process goes more vertically. So if if you think this is what is called, this is osteoclastoma like this one, the fibrous dysplasia will so like this one. It it expands the vertical direction. In the vertical direction, thinning out vertical and it is thinning out more and more or less, the transfer diameter will be more. In the fibrous dysplasia, it can occur in one bone or many bones. If it occurs one bone, monoosteotic, in another bone, in many bones, it is polyosteotic. One syndrome, Albright syndrome. One syndrome is called Albright syndrome. Albright syndrome. 7, 715 of See this one, like this one, so it has been expanded and because it has become lytic, it has been broken away. Bones commonly affected are the upper ends of the femur and upper end of the tibia and ribs. Upper end of the femur and upper end of the tibia and ribs. So what happens in the case of what is called, <coughs> now take the same diagram, in the same diagram, in the same diagram, I will, I am right, dry, drawing this one, this is what is called the
So as soon as the fibrous displace occurs, the forces tend to, because it becomes weak, it may fracture or because there is, it has become what is called a, a less denser and a less strengthy than the original bone, it will try to come down, it will try to come down, means there is a decrease of the neck shaft angle, the neck shaft angle try to decrease and then it will become like this one, like this one and it will become what is called a coxavara, it will become a coxavara and then it appears like what is called a shepherd crew, that means a stick taken by the shepherd boys for grazing the what is called for when they are going towards the what is called keeping the in touch of the sheep. So that is a shepherd's crook appearance. Bones commonly affected are upper end of the femur and tibia and ribs and then slowly it will deform and a coxavara results and then they may break or a typical droform deformity called shepherd crook deformity. This, this, uh, this, that is what? That is shepherd crook deformity. Shepherd crook deformity. And these are fibrous dysplasia affecting the various other bones. Various other bones. See the tibia is being affected by fibrous dysplasia. A typical monoastotic variety. May affect only one bone or many bones. Albright syndrome, polyastral fibrous dysplasia in girls. And precocious puberty and there is a cutaneous pigmentation. Common presentation are pain, a deformity and fracture. Pain, a deformity and fracture. This is the cutaneous manifestations. These are cutaneous manifestations. Coast of mine border. They are called coast of mine borders. Radiologically, the affected burn zones, because it is being homogeneously, homogeneously the bone has been replaced by the fibrous tissue. Because it has been replaced by the fibrous tissue, homogeneously it will say a ground glass appearance. And the lesion is a multilocular and then expanding the cortex of the bone because of the thinness. Serum alkaline phosphatase is often elevated because of the activity. And then diagnosis is confirmed by biopsy. The treatment is curatase and bone grafting. Curatase and bone grafting. So, that's about the tumors. So now coming about what is called some of the points which has just glance again. The other things, aneurysmal bone cyst and simple bone cyst I have not told. So for that, as already somebody asked, that's why we are including this one also. And fibrous dysplasia, just in the same headings. But the headings are different here. Age, common bones, location, x-ray, treatment, etc. Without any what is called microscopic finding is that there. Think about the giant cell tumor, 20 to 40, lower end of the femur, upper end of the tibia, lower end of the radius, which we know, epiphysius, soap bubble appearance, eccentric position, and their excision. Now you are masters of it. And then coming to simple bonuses, as I told you, less than 20 years in the prebartial and that is in the growing ages, upper end of the humerus and upper end of the femur are the most common bones. It is in the metaphysical area. The maximum width less than maximum width width why width width is more just I have told you like the osteoclastoma width is more width is more in the unicameral bone then metaphysis curatase and bone graft the unusual bone cyst another that is otherwise called ABC. A, B, C, it took it between 10 to 40 years, the tibia and the humerus, metaphysis, descending, ballooning of the bone, curatase and bone graft. There are no specific points in individual bonuses. There are no clear cut specific points, it is mostly a histological diagnosis. Clinically, it is not a specific finding is there. Most of the time, individual bonuses will be on a pre-existing bone disease. Even giant cell tumor may become individual bone cyst. Loculation of the blood occurring in a pre-existing tumor may become an individual bone cyst. Individual bone cyst may be a secondary of a pre-existing bone disease because it contains more and more amount of blood. And then fibrous dysplasia, 20 to 30. And 20 to 30, neck of the femur, 
tibia, metaphyseal area, multilocule appearance, trabeculations present, curatase and bone grafting. So that is about. So this is about the tumors. Now after this the tumor, most of the trained tumors you will be getting questions. If you have an understanding about the principle and every subject, because you are not going to write an essay, as soon as you see all the four answers, you will definitely get an idea. If you go through the general principles which we have given, if you go through number of times general principles and some amount of textbook reading of each and every tumor, if you go to each and every tumor, it will be mostly confusing every time. The same symptoms, the same uh, what, what are called same investigation, same things will be repeated. But have an analysis of all the symptoms together and just memorize now and then. And then when once you see the four answers, definitely you will know the correct answer. So that's about the bone tumors. We'll stop here for the bone tumor and we'll go to the some other conditions.